At Boston Scientific, when we talk about innovation, we talk very specifically about meaningful innovation. What we know is that while there are some patients who are fantastic responders to CRT therapy, there's a sizable number of patients, maybe a quarter to a third, who are suboptimal responders. Let me touch on, on what it takes in order to make sure the patients are optimal responders. Broadly speaking, there are three different things to consider. Patient selection, lead location, pacing site, and then programming the device. In terms of pacing site, we know very well that pacing from a more proximal location, a basal location, gets better responses than pacing from an apical site. Pacing the longest QLV or RVLV timing site is associated with a much better overall long-term chronic response. And then we have also shown data from Smart AV that for patients with a long QLV or long RVLV time, that in addition, using Smart Delay to optimize the AV setting on the device is also associated with an improved outcome. Based on Made at CRT, our clinical results show that if we can achieve that um, non-apical pacing, our patients have better outcomes. With the Acuity X4 lead, we place three electrodes on the spiral and you end up with many, many more vectors in that mid or base location for, for our physicians. When you combine the performance of the Acuity X4 spiral lead with our pulse generator, which has an extremely long battery life, we have a great solution for our patients and our customers. Having a quad pole lead available will help in assuring that we get a better response by enabling basal pacing. In addition, our particular family of CRT devices enables you know, not just using the quad pole lead, but maximizing the use of the quad pole lead through our vector guide technology. Once we've got the Acuity X4 lead in place, the next important step is really determining what's the key pacing vector that we need to use for this quadrupolar lead. LV Vector Guide will help patients' response by being able to identify the pacing electrode with the latest electrical delay in the Acuity X4 system. So data has shown for several years now, a lot of the research that our own company has participated in has shown that pacing from the site of latest electrical delay helps CRT patients. So with Vector Guide, you can quickly figure out the electrical delay to all four electrodes and thus making the decision of where to pace a lot easier. Vector Guide has multiple tests all combined on one screen, which is a huge advantage. We realized from the beginning that in order to program all these different vectors, a clinician or a physician was gonna to have to jump around from screen to screen, multiple, multiple screens. So we wanted to put everything all together on one screen for easy testing and programming. The thing I'm most excited about is the ability for Vector Guide to improve the clinical outcomes of our patients. As pleased as I am to have the X4 family approved in the United States, I think it's also important to view it in the overall context of a system. A system that couples Acuity X4 with Vector Guide, that couples it with Smart Delay, a rapid automated system for optimizing AV interval program with devices, and that couples it with the proven outstanding longevity of our CRT devices. Patients get the best of all worlds. We can pace them from an optimal location. We can program the device in an optimal way. Finally, uh, as I think everyone recognizes by this point, we also have the industry standard in terms of longevity of our devices. 